This is Marie from Underground Crafter. Grab those needles, we're getting ready to knit. Thanks to King Cole and Knitter's Pride for providing supplies for today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to pick up stitches in knitting. The first thing you'll want to do is check your pattern to see if it's being knit flat in rows or in the round. The reason you want to do that is because when you pick up the stitches, you will fill your needle with loops and those loops will, uh, if you are working flat in rows, will get turned uh, to the wrong side. Whereas if you are working in the round, you will be on the right side. Uh, so either way, think about where you want your stitches to go. For this particular project, I'm gonna be knitting flat in rows, and I want to start the row after I've picked up stitches on the right side. So while I'm picking up stitches, I'll do that on the wrong side. So I'm going to turn the piece to the wrong side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to evenly pick up stitches across based on the number that I need for my pattern. So you'll want to follow your pattern's instruction for doing that. Depending on what the last stitches of your row uh, were when you were knitting, you may either have what looks like two loops or an oval or you may just have one loop. Either way, you're gonna want to insert your needle, uh, and this is your working needle just below, and you're going to start with some slack in your yarn. So this is the yarn that's the slack or the yarn tail, and this is the yarn that's coming from the ball. And first, you're just gonna pull that yarn through that uh, loop that you had your needle on. Okay, so now we're gonna continue that across uh, picking up stitches. So we're going to insert our needle into the loop that was the last stitch uh, from whatever row that we were working on before. And then we're going to wrap our yarn around counterclockwise, just as though we were knitting, and pull it through and leaving it on the needle. And we're gonna keep working that all the way across, uh, picking up as many stitches as you need for your pattern. Um, so again, that is, uh, we're gonna insert the needle, then we're gonna wrap the yarn counterclockwise, and then we're gonna pull it through. And we'll keep doing that as often as we need to. Now be aware that you may not necessarily be inserting your needle into every single one of these loops because maybe you don't need that many stitches. So occasionally you're gonna be skipping some, most likely. Uh, and with each one, you're just inserting your needle, wrapping your yarn counterclockwise, and pulling it through. Now you may find this is a little bit challenging uh, because it's not how we usually knit. So what some people do, if you have an interchangeable set like I do, I have these needles that are interchangeable. If you also get a crochet hook in the same set, sometimes people find it helpful to uh, use that crochet hook to help them to pick up the stitches. Um, and so I'm gonna continue doing this all the way around, or all the way across, I should say. So again, I'm gonna be inserting my needle into one of those loops on the end of my row wrapping the yarn counterclockwise, and then pulling the yarn through the loop. Okay, and I will just show you that again a little bit slower. Insert the needle, wrap the yarn counterclockwise, and pull that yarn through the loop. Okay, and keep it on the needle. So now that you've seen this, I'm going to keep doing this all the way across the row, and then I'm going to catch you at the end and show you what to do next. Okay, I'm almost to the end, and I'm just adding a few more here. Okay, and now I will actually flip the entire project uh, so that that row that I just uh, added with the picked up stitches will be on the right side uh, in this case for this particular pattern. And then what you'll find is that these 
stitches will work just like any other stitches that you've knitted or purled. What you will find is probably that very first loop is going to be a little bit looser. So when you get to that point, you'll want to uh, just be sure that you had enough slack so that it doesn't fall off um, or unravel. And that's it. Now you've picked up stitches. What can you use this for? You can use this to add to a project that was too small. You can add borders. You can use it for a hat that's worked bottom up. So you might have um, a hat band and then you may pick up stitches and continue the rest of the hat. There's all kinds of different applications. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe on whatever platform you're watching this video on. Have a great day.